What's up entertainment crew? It's your girl Anaya and I am back with another video. So for today's Makeup Mondays, I am going to be showing you guys how I achieved this beautiful look right here. Now I will be showing you guys the products I use and the techniques I use to achieve this look. So if you guys want to see the techniques and the products, make sure you guys stay tuned and like this video and I'll see you guys in a minute. <laughs> so you guys just see me put on my morphe foundation equalizer primer now right here i know i did not show it i am so sorry but if you guys want to know i am using my morphe eyelid translucent primer for my eyes I know the way I am putting it on, maybe like, what the heck, but again, this is something that works for me. So right here, I took my 39L Hit The Lights Morphe Palette. And normally what I like to do is after I prime my eyelids, I would take a lighter shade to set the primer. So right here, I took the color My Type. So after I use that to set my primer, I'm still using the 39L Hit The Lights Morphe Palette. And I am using the color 2AM. Now I'm going to take that color and apply it to my upper eyelid. Now the yellow do not come out on my skin color as bright. So that's why I am not tapping the brush because I'm trying to get the yellow to really show. We had a special guest from my sister, hey boo. She is the one who taught me how to do my makeup. She is really good as well. Um, she has her own channel. So if you guys wanna go check her out, the link to her channel will be down below. So after I'm done, I'm going to take the 3503 Fierce by Nature Morphe Palette and I'm going to use the color Come Alive and I'm going to apply that to the crease and the lid of my eye as a transition color.
So right here, I went back into the 39L Hit the Lights Morphe palette and took the color Outlay and blended it in to only the top inner lid of my eye. So right here, you are going to see me take a brush to blend in my transition shade. Now, you want to make sure you blend very well. The best way I can say it is, you want your eyeshadow to look like an ombre effect. And an ombre do not have any harsh lines. So you want to make sure you blend very well so it looks like an ombre effect where it's beautifully transitioning into the next color. Taking the color Reckless still out of the 39L Hit the Lights Morphe palette, I'm going to apply it and blend it to the outer parts of my eye. So right here, you are going to see me take the same brush I used to apply my yellow to blend out the line, the harsh line between the pink and the yellow to give it that beautiful seamless look, which is like an ombre effect, which you don't want any harsh lines to show. So right here, I am going to take my P. Louise Base Shade 2 to help me create my cut crease. Now the way I may be applying some of my makeup may be like what the heck to some professionals out there. But again, this is a way that works for me. And at the end of the day, I make sure that I touch up my makeup 
and the look will still come out great in the end. Next, I'm going to take the color Insomniac and I'm going to apply it right on top of my primer. And before I apply it, I would like to set it with my setting mist because it will make the glitter more vibrant where it shows a little more. So I'm going to apply it into the inner corner of my eye.
so right here i'm going to use my finger to blend out that harsh line that you've seen again you want your eyeshadow to be seamless so you don't want any harsh lines in your eyeshadow look so you can also use your finger to apply the glitter i just use the brush so it won't be super messy and everywhere all over my fingers So right here, still using the 39L Morphe palette, I'm going to grab a small brush and apply the green right under my waterline, up under my eye. And I'm going to blend that green out and then I will go in with the pink and place it on the outer corner under my waterline and blend those two together.
so right here i grabbed a makeup wipe and if you could see that line right there that's my bone not pressing too hard i'm wiping it up under my eyes so it won't be too thick up under there i do not want it to look like i have a black eye so i'm gently wiping up under my eye going up so if you seen earlier i took a makeup wipe and i started from the corner of my eye wipe it up it's a technique i learned instead of using tape if you want to get that sharp look you can always take a makeup wipe and wipe it right there started from the corner of your eye and that will help you get the sharp makeup look so when i also wiped at the bottom of my eye i still want that sharp look so i'm still wiping in that same direction and you're gonna achieve that sharp look now it's time for foundation so i'm going to take my Too faced born this way full coverage foundation and i'm going to apply it all over my face Also, what I learned is when you apply your foundation, make sure you blend all the way down to your neck. You want your whole body to match your face. You do not want to have a different color face and a different color neck. Make sure you blend your foundation all the way down to your neck. I may not have showed it, but I did it. Now I am going to take my Too Faced Born This Way Concealer and apply that up under my eyes, my chin, and my forehead. Now make sure you guys remember that you guys have eyeshadow under your eyes and you do not want to blend that eyeshadow away. The reason why I did my eyes first is because I don't want to have to wipe off my whole face if I ever messed up to redo my eyes so make sure you guys remember to blend but do not blend up under your eyes where the eyeshadow is And make sure you guys blend, honey. That is what I am trying to do right here. I'm trying to blend, 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 honey. You want it to be blended. So blend it, boo. Blend it, honey.
child i'm running out i'm running out <laughs> but right here i'm going to take my laura mercier i'm struggling to show you guys but it's laura mercier and i'm going to take this setting powder and apply a little bit over my face i'm not going to apply a lot because then i will be too light <laughs> and it will not match my skin color so i'm going to take a little bit and apply it all over my face and what this would do is hold my foundation in place and prevent my base makeup from rubbing off and reduce shine for a long lasting and flawless complexion so i'm going to apply it all over my face and then i'm going to take more and apply well as you can see apply it under my eyes to set the concealer under my eyes After that, I actually saw a YouTuber do this, but I'm going to take setting spray and set it. So right here, I'm going to take my Fenty Beauty Bronzer and basically what this does is help you structure your face. It can help you make your forehead look smaller if you apply it towards your hairline. You could get rid of a double chin. You could pull in your face to make it look slimmer. Make your nose look slimmer. Whatever you want, this bronzer will help or any bronzer will help. So what I'm going to do is make the little suction cup <laughs> lips face. And basically, I'm going to apply it to my cheek. Do not use a lot. You don't want to just dig your brush into the bronzer and then just apply it. Make sure you guys build it up because if you don't, then you will have a dark dash just going through your face. So make sure you just use a light amount and make sure you guys blend each time you dip it in. So now I'm going to take my Fenty Beauty highlight and my Urban Decay Afterglow highlight and I'm going to apply that to my cheekbones and my nose. Now normally people like to apply it to the tip of their eyebrow or sometimes the top of the middle of their lip. I don't and also I did not show this but I actually set my face with more setting spray after I applied my bronzer and now I'm going to just apply my highlight and that's it. Also another thing with highlight you don't want to just dig your brush into the palette and apply it other than that you're going to just have a little dash going through your face that's not blended so actually you just want to dip it into your palette tap your brush and build it on make sure you guys blend it each time you dip it tap and blend dip tap and blend don't just dip apply dip a block apply and then that is not going to be blended and then you're going to just have this little streak of glitter just going up your face Now I am going to take my eyelashes. I got these from Sephora. No, I did not do an eyeliner for this look, but I'm just going to take my eyelashes and basically that is it. I am done.
thank you guys for tuning in to Makeup Monday. Yes, every Monday is going to be either a makeup review or I'm going to be doing another tutorial on a new makeup look I decided to come up with. And if you guys want to see the next thing I do for next Monday, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel. Comment down below what you guys want to see next. And like this video, guys. Thank you for watching. Bye.